This is part 43 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to create an image gallery with thumbnails using jQuery. Here is what we want to achieve. Notice we've got five image thumbnails. When we click on any of the image thumbnail, we want that image to be displayed in the main image section. We discussed how to achieve exactly the same thing using raw JavaScript in part 41 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to achieve this using jQuery. So let's flip to Visual Studio. Here I have an ASP.NET web application project. To this project, let's go ahead and add a new folder and let's name this images. And for the purpose of this demo, we're going to make use of these five images. On any Windows machine, you can find these images at this path. I'll have this path available on my blog. So let's copy these five images and paste them into the images folder in our project. So we've got the required images now. Within the body section, we want this main image element section. So let's create an image element and let's give it an ID. Let's actually call this main image and let's set the height of this to 500 pixels and width to 540 pixels. And we also want a 3 pixel solid gray border. So let's actually set that as the value for border. And let's set the source of this image element to the first image in this images folder. So source equals images for slash the first image. And let's include a break element. And then we want these five thumbnail images. So I'm actually going to wrap those thumbnails in a div element. So let's create a div element and let's give this an ID. Let's call this div container. And this div element is going to contain five image elements. So image and the source of the first image element is going to be the first image within this images folder. So images for slash, you know, the first image. And we want the height of the thumbnail to be 100 pixels, width also to be 100 pixels. And we want a 3 pixel solid gray border around each thumbnail. I'm actually going to create a class for that. So within the head section, let's include a section for style. And I'm going to call this image style. So we want height to be 100 pixels, width to be 100 pixels and border of 3 pixel solid gray. Alright, so let's set the style class for this image element. I'm going to set that to image style. Okay, and we have to do that for these four images as well. In the interest of time, I have already typed the required HTML. So let's copy that and paste it right here. So we've got the other four image elements. We have the class set to image style and source set to respective image within the images folder. So let's save the changes and let's reload this page and look at this. We should get the main image section and the image thumbnails. Okay. Now what we want to do is when we hover the mouse over any thumbnail, we want to change the border around thumbnail to you know, red color and we want this cursor style to be changing to a hand symbol. So let's see how to achieve that and on mouse out we want to lose those styles and when we click on the thumbnail we want that image to be displayed within the main image section. So basically we are going to bind three events to each image thumbnail. Mouse over, mouse out and click. So within the script section, so within our ready function, we want to find all these image elements. So these image elements are present inside a div element with ID div container. So within our jQuery ready function, find a div with ID div container. And within that, we have some image elements nested. So I want all those image elements. So here we are using ancestor descendant syntax. Find all image elements that are the descendants of this div element. And we are going to use on function. And we are going to bind three event handlers. OK, so I'm going to use the JSON object. So the first event that I want to bind is mouse over. So mouse over, what we want to do, we want to call a function. 
and what do we want this function to do? We want to change the border and we also want to change the cursor style. So I'm going to find you know the image element on which we mouse over. We're going to use this keyword for that. So this will refer to the element on which we have moused over. And we're going to use CSS function and we want to change two styles. So I'm going to use JSON object again. And what styles do we want to change? We want to change cursor style and we want the cursor to be pointer and we also want to change the border color so border hyphen color and we want that to be red alright so on mouse over we want to change those styles and similarly we want to bind mouse out as well so mouse out we want to call a function and again with mouse out we want to change the cursor back to default and border color to gray so I'm going to copy that and change the cursor to default and border color to gray and finally when we click on the thumbnail, what do we want to do? We want to display the thumbnail image within the main image section. So we want to now bind a click event handler. So first, what do we want to do? We want to retrieve the image URL from the thumbnail. So I'm going to create a variable here. I am going to call this image URL equals dollar this so here this represents the thumbnail image on which we clicked and we want the source attribute value so I'm going to use ATTR function and then the attribute value that we want is source so that's going to give us um, the image URL because the source attribute has got the image URL and that will be present in this variable now we want to set that as the image URL for the main image element and this main image element has got an ID so I'm going to find that image element by ID so dollar and the ID is main image and we want to set the source I mean the source attribute of the main image element again using the ATTR function and the value of that is going to be this variable image URL alright so that's all there to it let's save the changes let's reload this page and look at this when we mouse over we get that red border and look at the cursor style its hand once we click that the image is displayed within the main image similarly when we click on this we get that okay so the image gallery is working as expected now look at this when we click on a thumbnail the image is instantly displayed within the main image section now if you want some animation effects like if you want the old image to slowly fade out and then the new image to slowly fade in you can use fade out and fade in functions as well so let's see how to achieve those animations so here on this main image element I'm going to call fade out function okay so what is this going to do this is going to you know slowly fade out that image and let's say we want that fade out to happen over a period of 300 milliseconds and when that happens we want to call a function and once the old image is faded out what do we want to do we want to set you know this main image element source to the source of the image that is present within the thumbnail so here notice I'm going to use again this keyword so this keyword here refers to the main image element because we're using this within the context of this main image element so dollar this and I'm going to set source attribute value and for that we are using the ATTR function source and the source is going to be this variable which contains the thumbnail image URL okay so that is going to set the URL image URL for the main image element and we want that new image to slowly fade in so I'm going to call fade in here and we want that fade in to happen over a period of 300 milliseconds so let's save the changes let's reload this page and look at this when we click on a thumbnail now we get the animation you know the image slowly fades out and the new image slowly fades in.
And here is that example which we des just discussed. In our next video, we'll discuss how to make this image gallery a little more efficient using the concept of event bubbling. Thank you for listening and have a great day.